and welcome back. We got the got the girl dressed up for town here. And you know it's really funny, but you put something like this on her, she's real cooperative. You know, she does kind of shuts off a little bit. Oh, you're a little shaky, oh, but you don't like it. <laughs> I better take that off and put her down. Give her a bone. Hold on. Let's get that off you. That's no fun, is it? <laughs> here, get your bone. Oh, oh, back here. Okay, here's another one. One wasn't enough, there's one. Then you have to go hunt for that one. All right. Hey, I was gonna talk about something. Um, what I'm doing here is really packing this place full of machines. And uh, I have to go to a different concept to make this work. And, uh, uh, and it's an early concept. And, uh, and that concept is having a tool crib and not having to have every tool at your hand, you know. I've got micrometers, you know, basic up to 12 inches. But do I need to have a 12-inch micrometer in here all the time? You know, and the answer is no. You know, I don't need that. And I don't need all kinds of stuff, you know, pullers, you name it. You don't, uh, I don't need it until I need it. So, <clears throat> in the old days, and I worked at a place like this a uh, long, long time ago, and the machines were really packed together tight. And it was called the machine floor. And uh, you planned, uh, you, got, you got the plan for your part, then you decided on what tools you needed and uh, wrote them down. And then you go to the tool crib, and if there's somebody in there, which there usually was, so, people didn't steal everything, uh, would assign you the tools you need, you take them to the machine, and you get it done. And, and then when you're done, the tools go back to the crib. But kind of the way things have turned out is a uh, uh, list of cabinets uh, full of stuff lying on the walls and stuff like that. I don't have room for that stuff. And, uh, and, uh, and you know, going through drawers looking for something, well, you know where everything is. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's uh, more efficient to uh, plan what you need and get all the tools you need uh, for the job, your micrometer, your whatever you need, ruler, this, that, end mill, cutter, whatever, and... Um, have them lined up and ready to go, instead of wandering around, getting crap out of uh, cabinets and toolboxes. And uh, I think that's a big waste of time, and I've seen that, and, uh, <clears throat> and it's the typical way it is, really. But, you know, that can be efficient in itself, just depending on what you're doing. But if you're doing straight machine work, which is the situation I have here, there's no room for cabinets and stuff like that. My tool crib is a room um, in the basement in my house, you know. So um, um, I don't think I'm going to waste much time doing that. Um, you know, <coughs> thinking ahead, what's going on? Hold on. I might have to let you out. I don't know, but it's pretty cold. But anyway, I thought I'd uh, kind of point that concept out. And that's how I have to operate in here. Is, uh, uh, as I add the other machines, a little bit of space here. It's going to be a real tight deal. And uh, that's how the, uh, the, the old instructor at the community college operated. You know, you had to uh, give him a sequence of operations um, before uh, you did a project and check out the tools from the crib and get it done and, you know, Clean it up, get it back. And uh, I, think, uh, I think that concept's kind of uh, lost with uh, every tool at hand and all this space and stuff like that. It's not always the case, you know. Um, and nowadays, if you think about space, like uh, you're sitting on that old milling machine right now, and uh, because of the price of space, 
that needle mill machine uh, was drug out in the weather, along with the uh, uh, drill press. So, you know, to have an old milling machine, some big old drill presses like that, you're going to have to put them in a small space, you know. Uh, I, I'd say most people will, you know, some people have all the space in the world, you know. Uh, but uh, some people don't, and I think most people don't. So, uh, you know, the people with all the space, what if I tell you? But uh, those people with not so much space, uh, should really be thinking about how to be more efficient, you know, in any way we can, and not uh, um, clutter things up where things become too hazardous, you know. Um, in, in this little shop here, it's just a one-man deal. Two people is going to be a crowd, you know, <laughs> with the way, you know, uh, once they get the other stuff inter interlocked, you know, like uh, the uh, milling machine here and the cutter grinder, uh, which is uh, really an essential machine to have with a, with a, uh, a horizontal mill. It's like uh, uh, back in the old days, it's standard, you know. Uh, there's no other way to sharpen your cutters. So um, send them out, I guess. I don't know. But... Uh, um, kind of not the case now anyway. You gotta do everything yourself, but you can't do absolutely everything. You have to come to that realization too. You know, I don't care who you are and how much space you got, you ain't gonna do it all. Uh, <laughs> there's just too much of it. But uh, if you can get your, the space you have so it's workable, you know, um, I, I know that there's other people that uh, are cramming too much stuff into uh, too small of a space, but uh, and I'm doing that in, in a way, but yet uh, I'm overlooking all the aspects of it and it's possible to do it, but I have to have like a, a separate tool crib and uh, think along those lines. Um, and not have, you know, everything at hand. You got to pre-plan. And, uh, you know, when you do that, when you pre-plan, you're, you're going to be more efficient and your time's going to be uh, better spent. That, that's for sure. But I'm tired of rambling on with this. Uh, I'm sure I've bored everybody to death, but uh, that's uh, the concept I have to go to, you know, is uh, the old time machine floor. Okay. Have a good one.